Hi, Jenny Stone here from HR Shield with your HR Rescue. Each day we get hundreds of questions from our clients and other small and mid-sized business owners about some of the most common HR issues. We figured if they have those questions, you might too. So let's provide a lifeline and share our answers to some of the most common scenarios. Many of our clients ask us how they can reduce workers' comp risks in their workplace. No matter your industry, the following tips can help you and your employees stay healthy and productive. Hire smarter. Hiring qualified, experienced employees can dramatically reduce the number of workers' compensation claims that are filed. Qualified employees not only know how to properly perform their jobs, but they also know the safety measures to follow to prevent injuries and accidents. That's not to say that these employees won't ever have to file a claim, but there is a direct correlation between experience and qualifications and workers' compensation claims. Clearly define job descriptions. You should make sure that all employees have a thorough understanding of their roles in the company and the responsibilities of their position. Communicate frequently and effectively. Don't underestimate the power of effective communication. Many occupational injuries and illnesses can be prevented through an established communication system. Creating written protocol for the different tasks associated with the job can go a long way toward reducing accidents. Regular safety and health training. Most small business owners probably include some kind of safety training for their new hires. But safety awareness is something to be cultivated. You should meet with employees regularly to discuss safety, even if you only employ three or four workers. You can also encourage or require that employees attend industry safety workshops and classes, which are often held by professional organizations in your field. Think about your current employees. Can they identify the top three occupational hazards in their line of work? Can they detail how they actively prevent accidents from happening? Can they explain the proper procedure for handling workplace accidents? Create return to work policies. You'll want an injured employee to return to work as soon as possible. Accordingly, you should have a written policy in place. Your policy should have a section discussing transitional work. Transitional work consists of work assignments modified to account for the employee's injury. For example, if an employee has reduced mobility, you can have them temporarily do computer-based tasks. Safeguarding your business and its employees from workplace risk is necessary to maintain a secure organization and protect against major bottom line impacts. Do you have an HR question you'd like answered? Leave your topic idea in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And you can always email us for more information at support at hr-shield.com.